hi guys welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe so today i just want to go over and let's just do a little bit of art uh i seen this like kind of illusion type of nail and i just want to see if i could actually do it so i gone in and i prepped these guys i just gave them a quick buff and so i'm just going to go in and i want to use these two madam glams we have a sweetness and a primavera and we're just going to use these two colors. Why not? Okay, so I'm going to do it on all the nails. I'm going to go extra and just see. So I don't remember if there was like a name for this technique. It kind of just like reminded me a bit of like illusion. I'm just going to go in and go down the middle with both, kind of allowed that purple to take over a little bit. And then I'm just going to go in with an ombre brush and just kind of blend the middle of this not to be perfect. I'm going to do two coats. I want the bottom color to really shine through. So that is fine for me. I think because my nail looks a little crooked, this is what's throwing me off. Turn on the lights. Okay, so I'm going to go do and do that with all of them. Exactly the same thing. Maybe I will switch the sides of the colors on some. A little too much. Guys, if you're doing this on your natural nail, you're going to want to put a base coat down. But because this is an extension, we don't need a base coat. We did file though because we do need a little bit of a grip for the polish to hold on to. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through. I'm just going to let them sit. And then I'll cure them all at once. So I decided to kind of go back and forth with the colors. I think you will see a slight... Um, that may help a little bit with the design, but guys, honestly, I've tried this once on one nail just to see, but I knew there was a couple things I would like to do different, so that's what we're doing right now. I I had a brush somewhere. Alright guys, I found the brush I was looking for. And I've come to realize the lids to these brushes and a couple other brushes that I've got in, the lids are really messing up. 
the bristles. And I've tried to make a conscious, a con I can't even speak, conscious effort to put it in nice and neat and smooth. And it still doesn't overly want to be cool to me. So I'm just putting, this is actually M Share clear it's a very thin gel that i got from ali it's way too thin for a builder it's more like a good encapsulation gel so i do just put it in this ibd bottle but i did mark it just because the other container that it came in it was, it was an eight ounce container that i purchased and i just find that it was just too runny too messy for in that and i really just wanted it as a squeeze because i really only use it for prep for <laughs> brush prep and for encapsulation or glitters or anything like that. So I just wanted to prep my brush there. Now I'm going to just clean my brush a little bit. Okay. Now, so we have this nail is already. I don't like when it's so crooked. So now this will be like the final coat. So I'm going to put the opposite color over here. Now I want it a little not thick thick but I do want to be able for like a good full coverage. And then try not to touch it, but oh yeah. Okay. So pretty thick. Let's blend this in now. And I can see that I kind of went way over. So I'm just going to try to bring the green over a little bit more. Okay, so that's a pretty good ombre. Happy with that. Now I've prepped my brush and also I'm going to go and just from one side wipe it off. I want to kind of keep them as smooth or as wide. I can't even speak guys, I'm so sorry. I do want to keep them with a kind of the same width going across. So I'm just going to do that again. Now doing this with gel polish, these are going to seep back together a little bit. Now doing it with gel paint, you would get much cleaner lines. But I just really wanted to try it with the gel polish. But yes, if you want the cleaner lines, gel paint definitely would give you cleaner lines. You said you can go and kind of clean up or make it as little wider as more. We're going to put that in the lamp. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with all of these. I'm going to do this one at a time though. I am not going to try to do more than one because like I said guys, I do want it to have a pretty medium to thicker consistency 
to get like a good coverage of this one coat. Like not too crazy, but we definitely want it to have decent coverage. Like, where are you coming from? That was a crazy hair. Okay, we're going to blend. Okay. And you can do any, really, any type of designs. So, let's just do... Try to go... I actually don't like that at all. I just want to keep it my straight across, I think. I mean, as you do want to wipe off every time that you go back. Wipe your brush off. This brush is one a little freaking hair. I can tell it's like dragging through the design. Okay, well. This one's a little off, but it's okay. Madam Glam. guys so they are just the two tones but it does give a little bit of an elevation to the colors I think they're absolutely cute I love it quite an easy technique once you get it down so yeah just another way to add some extra art into your guys's system there you go guys so super cute i love how it just has like i don't know almost like kind of an illusion-ish type of feel but they're super i love these colors though they're so nice and soft here you are guys some nice easy art for you guys to try out thank you so so much for spending some time with me today if you haven't already make sure you guys hit that subscribe go ahead and follow me on all my social media and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.